welcome back to my channel. If you're new, please subscribe. So today's video is going to be on my drugstore favorites. A lot of people, you know, don't have the money to just go out and just spend so much money at oh, Sephora. Yeah. To Sephora is fun, but it's also very, very pricey. So I wanted to do a favorites video from the drugstore and just show you guys a lot of products that I use on the daily basis from the drugstore and things that I will keep repurchasing. And I think this video will be helpful for some of you that are just starting off with makeup or you just want some good ideas and some good makeup that is at the drugstore. So I'm going to start off with foundation. I have a few here. This is actually a newer foundation. This is the Dream Velvet um, by Maybelline and it looks like this. And this is a really good matte foundation. It just is, it gives you like a velvet finish, so it's matte, but you don't look dead. And it just is a very nice, smooth application. I like to use this with a brush, um, a foundation brush. Um, and I just really think this is a really good foundation. So if you're looking for like a matte finish, but not something that's too matte, that'll make you look really cakey and dry, this is a really good one because it's a velvet finish. So I would try this. This is by Maybelline. This one is also by Maybelline, and this is the, um, I don't know, the, oh, this is the Fit Me. And this one is a really good foundation as well. So this one is good. I get the one for normal to dry skin because I have dry skin, unfortunately. So I always like a dewy finish. A lot of people with oily skin don't really want to look greasy, but this won't do that. This doesn't make me look greasy. It just makes you look nice and fresh skinned and just really put together and alive. So this one is a really good one too. This is the Maybelline Fit Me. And another one that I love from the drugstore that I don't have because I ran out of, I like to use it in the summer, it is the L'Oreal Lumi um, foundation. I'll, get, I'll have it down below, the actual name of it, but it is one of my favorite foundations uh, from the drugstore and I use it all the time in the summer, I'll use it in the winter, and it's just a really, really good foundation, so I would highly, highly recommend that one too. So that's it for foundations. I have a bunch of foundations from the drugstore because I always like to try new ones but unfortunately I don't have too many that I love there are like I said those ones are really good a lot of people will compliment me on my skin and I'll be wearing one of those and I tell them they're like you're wearing foundation from the drugstore what so it's all about how you apply it too like I usually use a damp beauty blender because it really just melts the foundation onto your skin and just makes you look airbrushed or I'll use a foundation brush and that really just gives you a smooth application so speaking of sponges this is the sponge I like to use and this is from the real techniques and it's an orange sponge and it's uh, wet right now because I cleaned it so it's a little bit um, it's blown up a little bit because when you wet it, it expands. So I highly, highly recommend this sponge from the drugstore. It's really comparable to the Beauty Blenders. And those are $20 and this is $6. So I really recommend this sponge for applying any concealer or foundation. Next, for the rest of the face, I'm going to talk about some concealers. And this one is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and this is a really, really good concealer. This is probably the best one from the drugstore. It's the Maybelline Fit Me line, just like the foundation, and it's just a really nice consistency, and it blends out really nicely, so I really like that one. And then this one is the Maybelline... Why are all these products from Maybelline? I don't know. I swear I didn't mean to do that. And this is the Maybelline... Maybelline? The Maybelline Master Conceal... Um, Conceal it, and this one I think is a little bit newer, and I really, really like this one. This one's really good too. For bronzer, I have this bronzer, which is the NYC um, Color Wheel Bronzer. This bronzer is really, really nice. It has the different shades in there, and I kind of just swirl my brush all up in there and bronze my skin with that. And this is maybe four dollars, so it's a really, really good bronzer. And then I have my favorite blush that I use all the time, and this is the Milani blush in the shade T Rose, and it has a little rose, and it's just a really good everyday blush, and it's not crazy expensive. Next for brows, I like to use this Milani Brow Fix Kit, 
and this is, like I said, by the brand Milani, and it comes with a few shades, a darker shade and a medium shade, and there was a shade up here which I think was like a highlight shade maybe, but it broke and came out, so sad. I actually used them this today on my eyebrows. Normally I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz, but unfortunately mine broke, which is really sad because I don't know where it went. The um, brow wax fell out and I'm like, are you kidding? This thing was $21 and it's gone. Don't know where it went. So until I get a new one, I'm using this and I love it. It is really good. So this primer I actually really, really, really love and it's the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer. This stuff is amazing. Amazing. It. I mean, I have dry skin so I, like I said, I really like that dewy, you know, fresh face look so this just really gives you that really nice glow on your skin and it makes your foundation glide on really smoothly I can't say if it makes your foundation last longer because I always use a setting spray so it's hard to tell you know if this is actually making my foundation last longer or the setting spray is just really keeping it in place but I love this for a good start to your foundation it just makes your foundation glide on smoothly and it's really really nice for dry skin so if you have dry skin this bad boy will be your baby. So then, um, I don't really, I'm not a fan of eyeshadows from the drugstore, I'm not gonna lie. There really isn't much eyeshadows that I typically go to from the drugstore, but there is a few that I do like, and this is by the Wet n Wild, and this is the shade Walking on Eggshells. So we have three shades in here. The first one is this nice pinky um, glow color. This one is a brown that you could put in the crease and this one is a good highlight for the brow bone and inner corner. And these are really pigmented. The Wet n Wild um, color, I think, yeah, color icon. These ones are really, really good. These are the only eyeshadows I like from the drugstore. And then for a highlight. Highlighter is one of my favorite parts of doing my makeup and it's really hard to find a good highlight from the drugstore, I'm not gonna lie, but there is this one that I actually have on my cheeks today. And this is the Physicians Formula Shimmer Strips um, in Miami. And this is such a pretty um, highlight. It has like a bunch of different shades in there. It goes kind of like an ombre. It goes lighter into darker. And I typically just use these two shades up here. I'll just dab my brush in there and apply it to my cheekbones. So if you are looking for a good highlight, then I really recommend the Physicians Formula um, Strip. And this is in Miami. So for lips, I have a few products. First, I'm going to start with lip liner, and this is the Jordana lip liner in the shade Tawny. It's a really nice kind of like nude, mauve lip liner shade, and I have it on my lips today, but I also have a different lighter nude over it to kind of tone it down. But this is a really good lip liner if you're looking for something that's not, you know, too crazy, but it's good for every day or you can use it with a lot of different lip shades and it will work just fine. So this is in the shade Tawny by Jordana. So for lipstick, I've already used this product in a lot of my videos and it's because I love it so much. This one is my second uh, tube actually and this is the NYX butter lipstick and this is in the shade sugar wafer and as you can see This bad boy is running low and I need to pick me up another one because I can't live without this lipstick it is just a really really pretty nudie pink peachy color and it is just so perfect to over top any lip liner or any lipstick That's too dark and you really just want to nude it out this shade is just perfect. And then in the same line, the NYX, I love their lip glosses. These are the um, butter gloss, so that's the butter lipstick. So it's kind of like the same formula but in a lipstick version. So these are the lip glosses and as you can see, yep, I'm dropping some because I have so many. This is not all the ones I have actually. I have quite a few shades. So 
These are just so glossy and they're just nice to over top any lipstick and to be honest they're so pigmented enough that you don't even have to have any lipstick on or lip liner. You can just throw one of these in your purse and just apply it throughout the day and it'll give you a nice you know color payoff without being anything too crazy and they're really glossy and they're not sticky. I hate 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 sticky lip glosses but these are not sticky they're really really creamy and they're just buttery and that's probably why they're called butter glosses so if you guys haven't tried these which I'm sure you have or I'm sure you've heard of them you need to go buy like 20 so for eyes I have three products that I use every single day on a daily basis when I am doing my eye makeup and these are all from the drugstore which is great so the first thing I'm going to talk about is my liquid eyeliner I use this liquid eyeliner like I said on the daily and it is by NYC and this is probably three dollars so I'm just gonna show you it just applies the best black you know so this is it right here and it's a very very black shade it applies wet like it looks like that shiny black when you first apply it but it dries matte and I love that about eyeliner is I don't like the shiny look I like when it dries matte so I really really like this eyeliner this is my eighth tube like I'm not joking I use this for a bridal wedding makeup I use it on my friends and it just stays in place it's really really long lasting and I really recommend this eyeliner for mascara can't stress it enough I've said this in my other videos if you have watched them and this is the L'Oreal the luminous carbon black mascara this mascara has been my favorite since I was in high school I just use this all the time is I don't want to sit there for 30 minutes applying a very gentle mascara that's gonna apply like nothing and you're sitting there for a half hour trying to build it up and it's just not doing anything this stuff you need like two coats and you're good to go So last but not least we have eyelashes these eyelashes I will always go back to and they are by the brand Ardell these ones are the glamour and these are just the best eyelashes, I mean, from the drugstore. They have a bunch of different brands that are uh, that are also good, but I just love the Ardell. I always go to the Ardell ones, especially if I'm doing wedding makeup or prom makeup or anything like that. Um, or if I'm even going out for the night and I want some glam, I'm going to always go back to the Ardell lashes. A few of my favorites are the Demi Wispies. I like the natural ones, and then these are the Glamour. So that's what they look like. They're really fun and glamorous, and they're just really pretty. And they, how could I have forgotten you? Okay, so I almost forgot one thing, and this is probably my favorite thing out of the whole bunch of products here, and this is my Holy Grail eyeliner. And it's in this little baby pot, and it is by Maybelline, and it is the Black Gel Liner, and I think, what's the name? Black is Black. And it looks like this, and it's just a gel eyeliner. But let me tell you why I absolutely love this liner. I will apply this on my waterline and sometimes I'll do like my eyeliner with the gel instead of the liquid liner if I want to like change it up but I will apply this in my waterline and it does not move like I'll put it on you know I work a long day at work I'm a hairdresser so I'm always you know using the blow dryer and I'm always styling people's hair and it gets really hot and I get really hot and sweaty as gross as that may sound but you know when you're working a lot you're moving around a lot your makeup by the end of the day if you don't set it or if you're not using the right products you look in the mirror and you're like hey didn't look like this when I first came to work but let me tell you with this eyeliner I will apply this in the beginning of an early shift I'll go in at nine o'clock in the morning and I'll come home at four or five and this bad boy is still there it does not move sorry sorry, sorry. Still love you. Move, it is the best eyeliner. I use this on brides, I use this on my friends, I use this on prom makeup. Anytime I'm doing any sort of makeup, I just dip it in and it just glides right on your waterline. If you have a problem with your makeup like smudging underneath, 
it this doesn't do that I mean if you apply like a heavy amount and you don't set your under eye concealer I find that this may smudge a little bit but I always set my concealer and if I don't set my under eye I will find that it does transfer down but if you're setting your under eyes with powder this stuff does not move so if you haven't tried this then you're missing out and you need to go buy it like I said, these are products that I use on the daily basis. I love every single one of these products. I will always go back and repurchase more. But I hope that you guys find this helpful. Please go try some of these products if you haven't already. And if you have tried them out and you love them, let me know in the comments. Also, let me know in the comments what your favorites from the drugstore are so I can go buy more like I need to. <laughs> So that will be it for this video. Give me a thumbs up if you guys enjoyed this and let me know in the comments if you want me to do a all drugstore foundation routine with like maybe an, like an everyday eye look from the drugstore because I will definitely do that for you. That's something that I feel like a lot of people would like because you know like I said a lot of people don't have the money to just go to Sephora and buy a $50 concealer. Although I do love Sephora and I do have so many products from Sephora, the drugstore is just can be just as good and people overlook that a lot because it's, you know, the drugstore. And some of the stuff here is better than products from Sephora. So yeah, if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.